display tank. Things are starting to grow in, becoming more of a mature tank. So I'll start by telling you guys a little bit about this. Um, this is our first display. We've had it up and running for um, about six to eight months now. Um, and we've been slowly stocking it. We've got a mixed reef here. So this is an 80 gallon Fiji Cube Aquarium. It has an external overflow and we have it lit with two Kessel A9Xs. These lights uh, work really well. What I personally like about them is you get this shimmer, uh, which is really nice. And one of the interesting things about this tank is that the cabinet, other than a little bit of supplies, is completely empty. And that's because we actually have the sump plumbed in behind here in our mixing station room. And the reason for that is that the sump that's in here was actually too big to fit in the stand. So we have it externally plumbed over there. Other than that, it's a really basic setup. Uh, we have the MP40 on the side, giving us a good amount of flow across the tank. As you can tell, the torches are receiving a pretty good amount of flow here, good movement. We also have two returns on either side that are run by a DC return pump. And we've got the overflow box here. Uh, this allows us to not have a large overflow box where you're taking up a lot of tank space keeps everything slim and it keeps all the plumbing on the outside of the tank, allowing us to also keep it a lot quieter. Overall, this tank has been really fun to take care of and expand and kind of figure out what we were going to do. Originally, we were going to do an SPS dominant tank, but uh, we started putting corals in here and we just tended to lean more towards some of the flowier stuff, some of the philia. Uh, a lot of people like this tank because of the flowy and movement and it makes a really good example of kind of a mixed reef with a lot of different corals. We've got um, torches, we've got hammers, frog spawns, we've got acans on the bottom, scolies, mushrooms, even zoas, we have some chalices. There's a large plate coral over here, kind of hidden in the corner. Um, there's even some bird's nests, some trumpets, really just about every coral um, we've got in the store we have in here. And that also allows people to see kind of what they're going to look like when they get a little bit bigger. Um, so without further ado guys, we're going to dive a little closer into the tank and we're going to look at all the different corals we have in here as well as some of the other equipment on the sump on the back side. It's a really simple build and it's really easy to maintain and something that pretty much anyone can do. <laughs> here with one of my favorite pieces. I've had this for a very long time and transferred it from my personal tank. This is a plate coral. Um, this is a unique species that has a really cool growth pattern. As you can see, it has kind of grown into a cone and it has some really nice tentacles. And of course, it wouldn't be a mixed reef without torches. So of course, we have a nice selection from the Tods to some of the Holy Grails, um, some Aussie Golds, Rastas, Pretty much everything that you can find in our store. Um, so we have nice movement and some nice flow, kind of the real centerpiece of the tank. And we've just sort of expanded this torch garden as it's kept growing. And as it grows in, it just looks better and better. This is definitely my favorite part of the tank and the portion that everyone kind of gravitates to. And 
and over here on the other side of the torch garden we've got some of our other euphilia some of the frog spawns and hammers as well as a few framers which are going to be the frog spawn hammer hybrids so you can see those guys there they've got the hammer shaped tips but then they have a lot of the little tips along the tentacles those guys are really cool and definitely some of our favorite to collect and unlike the torches, you don't have as much movement out of the other Euphilia, but you still do get a nice variety of colors. Now, honestly, this tank has a ton of hidden gems in it, and I wasn't able to capture them all, but I did get some of my favorites. This Zoa colony is really nice. It's starting to grow in really well. The pink diamonds are somewhat taking over. And then we've got one of the most sought after leathers in the hobby. This is the Japanese long polyp toadstool. This piece looks just like a torch, especially uh, when it's lower flow and the tentacles aren't moving around as much. It's easily mistaken for a Todd's torch. And right next to this guy, we've got a very nice rainbow Wilson Eye brain coral. Then up front, we have our little Acan garden. We've got a bunch of different rainbow Acans along with a few other pieces. Over on the right side, we've got our little chalice garden. So you can see here, this is the Cloudberries chalice. And as you can see, this tank is pretty well stocked in. We have a few larger pieces like some of the bigger torch colonies and frog spawn colonies, along with the big bird's nest in the back, and some larger pieces up front like a trachea, some acan colonies. Uh, we are starting to run out of room, but we want to kind of give things a little bit of space to grow. So without further ado, let's get into the equipment on the backside in our mixing station. We have the tubing drilled through the wall and we have it coming down here. Um, this is our main drain here with the gate valve on it. This allows us to adjust the flow to keep the plumbing nice and quiet. Um, it's a really simple setup. We've got a couple of filter socks in here. Um, as well as a bag of carbon, a heater, a skimmer, and then we've got some sponge filtration just to keep down the micro bubbles and add a little biological filtration and our return pump. So as you can see, it's a super simple setup, um, something that really anyone can do and take care of. And that's kind of the point of this tank is just uh, make something real easy that anyone can do and as you can tell guys, you really don't need anything super complicated or super clean even um, to have a really nice reef tank. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick look at our display tank. And if you guys have any questions, make sure to leave them down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, leave it a like. And make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with all of our latest content. And I will see you guys in the next one.